guys, Gonza here. So the aim of this recording is to show you some of the features of the bridge node between Stellar and Pendulum. Uh, so as you can see, I have the node running here. I have my Solar Wallet with two test accounts and the Pendulum Explorer. So first of all, um, I wanted to show you how to import an account that already exists on Stellar. We will use Bob for that. Um, so we're gonna get secret key to be able to import it on Pendulum. We're gonna paste it here. Give it a name. Never mind the password, this is just for encrypting it in the local storage of the browser. It's not important actually. Okay, so we have Bob here. Um, but you can see that Bob doesn't have any pen token and he will probably use that or need that for paying the gas fees of some of the operations in Pendulum. So we're gonna send some tokens from the good friend Alice to Bob. And there you go, Bob. So now let's go to the to the real thing. Um, so let's say Bob uh, wants to to trade some USDC tokens on Pendulum, use the AMM, and get some Euro tokens, and then put that back on Stellar. So first we need to transfer some funds uh, to the Bob in Pendulum. Um, for do for doing that, we are going to use the escrow account. As you know, the escrow account will lock the funds. Uh, while they are in use in Pendulum. So let's transfer some USDC for example. Um, hopefully you will see in the logs that something different is happening uh, when we receive this transaction. Um, there you go, some log is different. Uh, and you can see then that Bob already received the 10 USDC. So let's take a look at the transaction here on the logs. Let's go to Stellar Expert. Um, we can paste this transaction here and see what's going on. Uh, so we can see that well, this is this is both. This is our escrow account. Uh, the ten USDC we transferred. If we go to the escrow account, we know we can see that um, there's some other trust lines already set and that we have one signer. Uh, in the real case, um, we would have up to, five, uh, to 20 signers uh, per escrow account um, because we would have more bridges signing this transaction uh, and agreeing if this is valid. Uh, but in this case, it's a, a test with just one node and only one bridge, so that's why we only have one signer here. Uh, so let's continue. Um, so next thing, I'm gonna transfer more funds to Alice because um, she will, uh, we will need that later for using them into the AMM. So let's, let's make her more wealthy. I transferred some euros. Let's transfer some more USDC also. And okay, there we go. So next thing, uh, I want to show you how to deploy, deploy in a smart contract, in this case, the AMM. So we go to contracts. Um, we can disregard this one. Uh, this was already there. We're going to deploy a new one. Uh, so I have prepared a pre-compiled one uh, for the AMM, but you can find also a uh, a pre-compiled version of the AMM in our releases in the in the AMM repo for Pendulum. So uh, next, we need to provide the assets um, with the issuer. So USDC, Euro, Domain. We we transfer some some pen tokens to the to the contract.
okay and I'm gonna go bigger on this now um, so as you can see we already have some information here we have the reserves are zero for both tokens asset one is USDC asset two is euro I say tokens and assets like uh, in, in the same sense um, we we know that um, what else we have we total supply is zero so we also have some operations we can call <coughs> uh, from this contract and one of them is deposit so let me maybe show the accounts in let me divide the, the window so you can actually see the balance is changing so for example let's say that Alice will uh, will deposit some some assets into the contract uh, let's say this is asset one this is USDC but since um, the we are providing to a, to a smart contract uh, an AMM which is kind of a liquidity pool so we are going to provide two assets actually so it's five USDC but we are also providing five euros and this is because the exchange rate so far between both is one because we have the same amount of both in the in the AMM which is which is zero by now so this will deduct from Alice five euros and five USDC if you execute this we will see that in a moment okay there you go so now we can see that uh, we have five units of each this number is much larger but uh, this is multiplied by a factor of one trillion or something like this but we can also display the units here which is five on five um, so now let's say um, Bob was, wants to trade some USDC and swap them to euros uh, to then put it back on Stellar uh, so let's let's make the swap USDC is asset 1 which we have and asset 2 is euro which we need so we will call swap asset 1 for asset 2 and let's say we want to receive 1 euro for example and let's call it from Bob okay so if you submit this after a while you see that uh, we received this euro and we paid for that 1 and 25 units of USDC this is because we have to pay a bit more for this transaction um, so um, now we, go, we, we see deposit, we swap uh, now let's say that uh, Bob wants to, to have this euro back on, on Stellar which is kind of the final step of, of this storytelling so let's go let's go to Bob let's let's go back to the to the last uh, yeah that layout uh, let's go to Bob and um, so let's uh, let's execute a, a withdrawal for doing that we are going to extrinsics which are special functions that we can call uh, from our palette so we go to stellar bridge uh, and we see that we have this function, this deposit. This is used automatically in our our bridge when when a transaction is fetched from from Horizon in the deposit. But here, this withdraw to Stellar. This function we can call it actually manually. So we need to provide the asset code, which is Euro, and the asset issuer. And we want that Euro that we swap. Uh, back again to Stellar. So we submit this transaction. So if everything wa was was well, we should see one euro appearing here. And there you go. Now we received this from the escrow account. If you remember, um, so everything that happened here is available to see in in horizon uh in stellar expert or or in horizon itself um so this is basically the demonstration of the whole thing uh like putting putting funds on on pendulum uh, trading them and then putting back to stellar 